Well, big bucks are being spent on the school board election coming up next month for Denver Public Schools, and it's drawing a lot of attention. Sean Boyd covering that for us tonight. And Sean, one reason why the outcome may impact a lot more than just Denver schools. Yeah, Karen, this election potentially has ramifications statewide. For the first time, anti-reformers could control the board. They need to pick up just two seats. If they win, it will mean sweeping changes at DPS, a district that often influences education policy across the state. <laughs> a mom and former teacher, Ariel Taylor Smith, says Denver's school board election is about the future versus the past. We have a choice to move forward um, and continue to make progress. Uh, or, you know, there are some people that are unfortunately calling for us moving back to a system um, that we know never worked. Union backed candidates are promising to put a moratorium on all new charter and innovation schools. They got more than half of Denver's public schools now. Teacher Allie Nutter says the district is using charters to close schools that are struggling. It's not an equitable system at all. When we have a system of choice, it creates winners and losers within our system. The only students who can choose the school they go to and make it across town are students with parents who have the time and resources to get them across town every day. But statistics show Denver charter schools have more low income students and students of color than district run schools. They also have control over their curriculum. They're able to adapt, right? Like DCIS Ford was able to buy a completely different reading program because they because of their innovation status because they saw that their learners need something different and they adapted the race will also determine whether Denver keeps its teacher evaluation school rating system and superintendent I've already decided if we don't flip the board I can't feel good continuing to work for a public education system that I don't feel serves students now, union back candidates have also promised to put more money into the classroom. Right now, DPS spends about 66% of its funds on the classroom, 4.5% on central administration. As an indication of the high stakes, reform candidates have accused the union, the teachers' union, of funding a racist flyer. And more than a million dollars, well over a million dollars, has been spent on this race. It could top. Two million by the time it's done. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.